Hey, hey, y'all, and welcome back. It is Saturday, and I'm sitting out in front of the grocery store. I had the intentions of getting up this morning and making some blueberry scones, some homemade blueberry scones, and then Wyatt decided to sleep a little bit later, so I stayed in the bed. No regrets. <laughs> no regrets. So I'm going to go in here and get some blueberry sweet biscuits or some orange rolls or something easy to fix this morning. I'm going to make this a whole weekend vlog, so we'll do those homemade blueberry scones in the morning. That that's the that's the plan. <laughs> so stay tuned. As far as plans, we don't really have any plans this weekend. Just real life. That's what we do. <laughs> that's what we do around here. So we'll have to see what the weekend brings. For now though, I gotta go in a store and get some breakfast. Slash lunch because we'll, we'll just call it brunch. <laughs> Well, the big kids wanted to get out of the house for a little while, and Justin said, take them swimming, and I'll stay here with Wyatt. And I looked up the pool hours, and it said they were open till 6. We get here, and they're closed. Well. And it's only 2.23. Yes. It's 2.23. So, I don't know what we're going to do. Now I'm sitting on a different Facebook page where it says, due to unforeseen circumstances, they're closed for the season. So I guess we'll find something else to do. We found a different swimming pool. Are they opening? Yeah, it opened. Sunday now. 
on getting the stuff out to make those blueberry scones. I've already got all my dry ingredients in here, including the sugar. I'm gonna mix that together and then I'm gonna cut my butter in just like I would for biscuits. Now I don't have one of those pastry cutters that you can use to cut butter and stuff in, so I'm just gonna use a fork. Maybe so you can see a little better what's going on down here. I've got frozen blueberries. You can do that with fresh, frozen, whatever you got. If I cut the light on for you, maybe you can see better now. Make this into a circle that we can cut into wedges. So pretty with the blueberries in there. Keep them equal now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need to get some more flour on here. Yep. <laughs> Through the blueberry. Okay, let's turn on a breaking sheet.
we made a little glaze with some powdered sugar and just a little bit of milk. Put that on top of these scones. They ended up cooking for about 20 minutes. Oh, goodness gracious. Somebody's playing with Hot Wheels in there. They ended up cooking for about 20 minutes, and then I cut it on broil for two or three minutes just to brown the top. And while those were cooking, Audrey got us a Mississippi pot roast going in the crock pot for tonight. about our chore chart and our chore points and how that works they've seen it on our refrigerator in the background before like when Huddy got to use some of his chore points in one of our grocery hauls and I've mentioned it here and there so I thought I would show you Audrey's got it all erased our week starts over on Sunday today's Sunday she's got it ready to go so let me flip it around I'll kind of explain it to you a little bit this is the chore chart and it's a big magnet we just keep it stuck to the refrigerator we got this off of Amazon I will link it in the storefront that I have. It'll be down in the description box in case you want to find it. It was really affordable, and this is the best system we've ever had. We've done clipboards. Um, we've done the whole getting a few dollars at the end of the week. This works the best, and I think it does because what they do is they pick something that they want to work towards. Like Audrey's working toward a like fold-out lawn chair. The boys are wanting some fishing baits and I tell them how many points it's going to take to be able to get that based on how much it is and that kind of thing. And then every time they do one of the chores that's going to be listed here, Audrey's about to write them out for us. Every time they do one of these, they get a point. I don't stay on them about doing it. If they don't do it, they don't get the point. If mama has to do it, they don't get the point. There's a little baby hand. <laughs> if they don't do it, they don't get the point. Now, these things right here are expected of them just cause, well, they live in this house. They are expected to make their bed. And I have to tell them to brush their teeth. It has to be on here. If I don't, they'll try to get away without doing it. But in the mornings, they have to make their bed and brush their teeth. And at night, they got to make sure their room's picked up and that their teeth are brushed. This is just, they don't get points for this. This is just something that they have to do. As far as laundry, Audrey always does hers by herself. Washes, dries, folds. The boys still need a little help with theirs, but this is something that I do give them points for if they take the initiative to make sure that it's done. And then like I said, they'll all have their chores on here, what the chore is, their name, and then they mark the day they do it. And if it's something that they only have to do like once a week, like bringing up the garbage can, we'll just mark out the days that they don't have to do it and then they'll mark on the day that they actually have to do that. Does that make sense? You'll understand more once you get them all wrote down. But that's that's how it works. These are expected of them. They don't get points for this. Anything that's up here, they get points for. And then, like I said, I think this works best because they know exactly what they're working for. They choose something. They know what they're working towards whenever they are earning these points. And it makes them want to do it. <music> So here's the chores that we've set up for them this week. It changes from week to week. It's usually the same things, just different people doing different things. And then, for example, where you see these lines right here, that's because it has to do it morning and night. Still just worth one point because, you know, that's how we do things. But morning and night on feeding the cats and cleaning out the litter box. And then this is what I was talking about where we mark. So Hudson is going to wipe the outside of the trash can on Tuesday 
and Friday, and Ethan's gonna let roll the couch on Tuesday and Friday, and Audrey will bring up the trash can from the road on Thursday. That's what I meant by we mark out the days. They don't have to do that. So there's their chores for this week. We'll see how much gets done. Like I said, there are days that sometimes they don't do what they're supposed to, and if they don't do it and they don't mark it, well, they don't get the point for it. They are pretty good, though, about doing these things because they're working hard to earn whatever it is that they want. And it helps mama out tremendously, tremendously. I know some people don't have their kids do chores and that's fine if that's what works for you. Um, I have mine do chores. They can earn rewards for doing it. And then there are some things that they're just expected to do like we were talking about because well, they live here and they make messes and they're expected to clean up after themselves. So just do some things that are expected of them. We're a little bit, little bit of both. A little bit of, hey, there's some things you're just expected to do. And a little bit of, hey, there's some things that you can do and earn rewards for it. There's no right or wrong. Whatever works best for you and your family. But this is what's working good for us. I just realized that somebody's probably going to look at this and say... Who's Susan and why is Huddy running her? <laughs> that is what we call our shark vacuum cleaner. Yeah, she's Susan, so that explains that a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here, see if baby boy will take a nap, and then tonight we're gonna have that Mississippi pot roast. Don't go anywhere. I'll show you a clip of that. Justin fixed tacos for lunch, and they were delicious. And then we'll have that Mississippi pot roast for supper tonight. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed, what you waiting on? Hit that button. Join our family. We'd love to have you. We are just a simple southern family living our life, living our adventure, and bringing you along. We'd love to have you as part of the family. We love you guys, and I can never tell you enough how much I appreciate you and appreciate you coming back and watching our videos. We'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. I've been dreaming about you Every night I see your clearest day It's just something about the way you make me feel Cause I can't concentrate